Good morning. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. I'm here this morning to talk with you about <clears throat> fasting, <clears throat> excuse me, and some reasons that um, you may want to consider fasting. <clears throat> I'd, I'd like to just start always by just really starting to ground down and, and take a few deep breaths, maybe close your eyes. And just start to relax your shoulders away from your ears. Relax your jaw and release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. And here in this relaxed state of mind, allowing the information that I'm going to give to you this morning just to drop into your head. So talking about fasting um, and according to professionals, a few reasons why you may want to consider fasting is for cell repair and cleanup. A decrease in inflammation, an increase in lean tissue mass, decrease in fat tissue, um, a building of stamina and resilience, and to remember how great you can feel. And last but not least, and, uh, and there are many reasons to consider a fast, is um, possibly the prevention of cancer and to age smarter. So before you begin any fasting period of time, it's wise to think about cleaning up your diet. And that's not to say that the fast won't have um, an effect on you. It's just to say that if you start to clean up your diet a little more before you start the fasting period of time, the body, um, the body's detoxifying effect can be more efficient. Um, in saying that, if the diet is not, um, if you're, you know, consuming a lot of processed foods and you're snacking a lot during the day and <clears throat> maybe consuming a lot of sugar and things like that. Um, <clears throat> lots of emotions can start to come up and it can make the fasting period of time harder for you mentally, physically and mentally. So your body is meant to regenerate itself, but it's not able to do that if you're always eating your normal amount of food every day. With fasting, the body goes into deeper fat metabolism and autophagy, which basically is a recycling and cleanup process that rids your body of damaged cells. It is a rest from digestion to concentrate on healing. So, I just have a few notes here because I want to make sure that I'm giving you the best information 
And <clears throat> something that I've found to be helpful is to begin the process of fasting after dinner. Um, stopping eating after 6 p.m. at the latest, no snacking in between, and really hydrating the body in the process. So keeping the body nice and hydrated throughout your day. And after your last meal of the day, um, preferably around 6 p.m., to use that time to continue to hydrate with room temperature to warm water that keeps all of your cells nice and hydrated and can and can help the detoxifying effect um, to be a little more efficient um, can help to rid your body of some of the toxins and things that are um, in the body so normally a 12 to 14 hour fasting time is, is generally okay for most individuals, 14 to 16 for others, but always consult with your physician before you begin uh, any type of change in your diet. Obviously, some of us have health issues um, to consider and Fasting may not be the best way to go for you. <clears throat> so also something to consider is your feasting times. So keeping a three meal a day um, diet and really sticking with that, again, not um, snacking in between your meals and keeping those meals um, as nourishing as possible. Otherwise, the body can become depleted and the fasting may not be so helpful to you. Something else to consider is one of, one of the things to consider is to, once you go into this fasting period of time and the body has time to um, repair itself, things will start to improve. Your um, sleep will improve. In fact, any time that you can um, stop eating dinner, you know, you have your dinner at 6 p.m. and you make that your last meal of the day can really help to um, improve your sleep and can also help you to wake up in the morning feeling energized and not so bogged down. A lot of times when we start to, when we fill the body and continue to eat and snack throughout the day. Um, we can wake up with what, aches and pains and a groggy feeling in the morning. A lot of times people say that this comes with age and that may be true, but why not do the things that we know can help to reduce those feelings and help to improve um, the life that we're living. Um, again, it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor before you begin a fasting period of time and just to make sure that this is not going to um, interfere with any other health conditions that you may have. Thank you so much for joining me. I know this was a short talk this morning, but I just want to make sure that you know that you can always um, contact me if you have any other questions. I love to, you know, talk with you about it more. If you have any 
um, questions, you can always email me at lydiatallyyoga at gmail.com um, and or leave a comment and we can connect that way. Thank you so much. Have a great day.